All right. Again, try to video train and talk at the same time. I'm walking with Dolly. I'm walking what I call, oh, she just made something. A little feather. No, a piece of paper. Um, I'm walking what I call the gambit, which is just, it's just walking the path the, along the, this, this uh, uh, strip center, trying to keep her in view. She's a little bit all over the place. That's normal of puppies. What I'm doing is see how the leash is just taut. I give her a couple little jerks back when she gets too tight. So now it's loose. You see it's dangling. So I tell her, good girl, good girl. Yes, yes. And if she looks at me, she gives even more praise. Now she sees a bird off. Let's look, let's look. Good, good, good. She sees a bird off in the distance. Right now, again, like I said, she's all over the place with the puppies. I don't worry about that as much as that they're not pulling on the lead. So like if she crosses over in front of me back and forth, I don't worry about that quite as much. I don't want to put too much on their plate. I want them to just focus on learning, see how the leash is nice and loose right now. She is walking ahead of me, but she's keeping pace with me, which is awesome. So that's the only thing that I want her to learn. I want to learn that this is good, that right there is not good. So I give her a couple of jerks back. If she goes right back, then I, she's actually getting a couple of jerks back there. And, and then she goes back. Good, 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 good. Good, good, even better. So I tell, oh, yes, you offer a sit. That's so pretty. I will give you treats. Um, again, so I tell her good girl as she's walking on the loose leash. And if she looks at me, I'm, I'm, my praise is just even that much more. Now, right now, the leash is, looks a little tight on the video, but it's actually, I'm not... She's not putting any pressure. Now she's putting a teeny tiny bit of pressure. Uh, very much more than that, then I would go ahead and give a correction. But if you can see my hand, I'm barely, I'm barely holding it um, in my fingers. Of course, she's a puppy, so she doesn't, she doesn't have, you know, she doesn't have a lot of weight to pull. Um, but again, when I'm first leash training, now if you're walking the two dogs together, you might want to make the rules a little stricter, just because then both dogs get crazy. But that's why I like practicing one dog by herself because she right now she's a puppy if she's all over the place that's okay again I want to focus on learning one thing which right now is don't make that leash tight I want her to know the difference between the leash hanging loose like it is now and the leash being tight when I give her a correction and I she's actually responding to corrections good girl good girl let's walk and I always say let's walk if I want her to kind of keep on going if she gets distracted by something and I want her to keep walking but yeah, I wanted to know the difference. She's responding really well. Let's look, let's look. To uh, just a couple of very light corrections. Let's look and see. Right now, she was she was getting ready to kind of pull over towards a lady that she wants to see, which is normal. Dogs, most dogs want to meet pretty much everyone they pass, and so that's another thing is we teach pass bys, which means that when we get to a person, if I were to have a treat in my hand at that time, which is hard to do right now because I have a camera in my hand, I would have taken the treat, we're going to hit some noise, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but I would have taken the treat and lured her past the person, I call that practicing pass bys, to teach her that I'm going to let her know when it's time to go say hi, I'm going to stop video now, since it's getting very loud, good sit.